bright and sunny in the Arizona state. And our first stop on our tour is Paragon Escape Games. Yeah. How cute, they have their own company car. Uh, Alsa has a plenty of parking that are free. You can also park in the reserve 101 or 103 spots um, if you see those on the floor or the ones that don't have anything. We only have one game right now, but look at how massive this looks for one game, right? Um, we're gonna go check it out. It's called The Return of the Pharaohs. If you like and subscribe to our channel, you're gonna get more content like this, so make sure you do. And now we bring you in. What's good everybody, it's Brandy from the Crazy World, it's bright and early, we are at Paragon Escape Games in, are we in Phoenix, Arizona right now? It's, it's Mesa. Mesa. I know, it's okay. all like very close together. Same place. Alright, we're in Mesa, Arizona, and I am with Adam, he's the owner of Paragon Escape Games, how you doing? Doing awesome. Thank you for having us so bright and early and uh, accommodating us, because we're going to get in there and play Return of the Pharaohs. First of, I believe you plan to have four games and possibly more? Yeah, so we're thinking we got four games. We have planned out a total of eight games right now. So um, if we can if we can get moving to the to the south here, then that's what we're, our plans are for here. All right, so we have Return of the Ferals. It's open and ready for the public right now. What seems, to, what, what do you think is the next one that could be ready and when do you think it'll be ready? It'll, it'll definitely be our Clockwork Corridor. That's the one that we're doing. It's a, a steampunk theme. Ooh. And uh, yeah, we're super excited about that. Um, a lot more story based, but uh, we're hoping you know October, November that time frame uh, this year for for this year okay. to be able to have that finish. Um, we had to wait for some permits and things, but then once that's done, then we have plans for doing the next two, um, hopefully within the next year also. Okay, and I know it's on your website, but what are the next two that you have planned? So um, the next one will probably be our, our room called Requiem. Um, that one is a um, definitely a, a thrill room um, set place kind of in a. Uh, uh, an asylum. The next okay. one is going to be also Flytanic, which we bought a 737 airplane and actually had to build around it, but that one will be legit inside of an airplane. Um, oh my hopefully we're going to have everything be moving and things like that. So We haven't even played Return of Fowls and I'm already planning our next trip back to Arizona just to play the rest of your games. Awesome. Uh, so when did you open? Um, so we had this awesome idea to open about two months before COVID, which was very inconvenient. So wow. at that at that point, you know, we kind of had to shut down. So I really consider us opening um, basically this, the end of 2021 is kind of where we really opened, mm -hmm. uh, but we were open before COVID for just a few months. And just we had a few shut. months, okay. And then um, I know you had the four games that are in the works. Um, anything else in the future uh, for Paragon Escape Games you would like to share? Um, yeah, so just uh, we're planning on doing like a multi-series type game. Um, it's gonna be called Sinless, so that one's gonna be a cyberpunk theme. Um, and then we're hoping that we have this one called Nightlight that I, I'm hoping will blow everything else out of the water if I can do what I have in, in the crazy. So. Wow. So speaking of the in the crazy, <laughs> it seems like you're coming up with most of the ideas, the, the puzzle designs. Yeah. Uh, so so everything is done in house. It's basically my brother and myself that uh, that build the uh, the escape rooms. He does all the tech, and I do all the kind of the the imagining and the, and the build out. Um, of course, with some um, help from other family and things like wow. that. But for the most part, it's all done in house. Amazing. Um, now, when you have players in the room, I'm sure you, you get a chance to game master every now and then, see what goes on in the camera, what they're doing in the room. Is there any like crazy story you would like to share of you, what you've seen them do in there? Like we've heard probably almost all of the stories, but we are always surprised by something new. Um, yeah. The funny thing is that you asked that and, and now I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, if it's necessarily appropriate to say, but that's all right, right? Oh, no, we've heard, like I said, we've Okay, heard okay, we'll, we'll go for it. So in one of the rooms, there's a sensor, and for some reason, one of this, uh, a lady was in there with, with her husband, and they're going around, and um, she thought that the sensor only worked with what she called her nuts. So she, so she went up to everything and would like stand like this and 
Oh my and, God. And, <laughs> anyways, okay. it was awesome. A little bit tipsy, but those are my favorite, right? I mean, just like, well, put you it all can't, You can't knock her for the creativity. No, I mean, no, I was, you know, I mean, try everything. Exactly, so there you go. So that might be in one of our next escape rooms where it's only like, you know, you're gonna have to, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I, hey, I have the inside scoop. I might, I might use that next time I come back and just do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that story. I, I'm also wondering how long did you before you told her? Uh, I don't think you need to do that. I, I, I was laughing for a while, and eventually we did say that. Oh, you can use your hand. And she's like, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That was fantastic. Um, Adam, so I mean, you it sounds like you play escape rooms because you're the one that's coming up with the ideas and it sounds like you're an enthusiast yourself. Um, do you get the chance to play some whenever you're free? Yeah, I think so when you're an enthusiast, right? You're super excited. You're like, oh, I can make an escape room. It's gonna be fantastic. And it's almost like when you decide to make an escape room, you can no longer be an enthusiast because of course you're, you're running an escape room. So, but I do, I do my best, sorry about that. Um, I do my best uh, to, um, uh, to get out and play the games as often as I can, you know, I'm I'm in triple digits, but that's when yeah. I talk to enthusiasts, you know, some of them are like, oh yeah, I've gotten over a thousand, yeah. right? So and that's and that's awesome. Um, but I definitely go on my trips, you know, to California, to Louisiana, whatever it is, right? To go right. go do the best. I want to see what the best is, so that I can hopefully up my game and and make great games. That's great. That's definitely the right mentality. Um, is there one that stood out for you? It doesn't have to be your favorite that you like to give a shout out to, preferably the company and the, that game that was there. All right. So a lot of my inspiration um, has come from 13th Gate in Louisiana, <laughs> right? And I'm sure you hear that one all the time. Yeah. And it's one of those things like, why would you know, Cutthroat Cavern, mm -hmm. why would you ever build this big of an escape room with this much stuff, right? It, it just doesn't make sense but it's super inspiring to me because that's what I want. I want, right. I want to have people go in with expectations and hopefully exceed those expectations every mm -hmm. single time. All right, well, shout out to 13th Gate. And is, it, is Cutthroat the one you want to give the... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give Cutthroat the, the initial, just for their, for their set design. That's, that's what's super inspiring for me. Okay, if you have another one, feel free to share. It's um, up to you. Let's see. Um, I was gonna say, I, the other one that, that I have that's on, at least on my mind, mm -hmm. uh, is Minotaur in California um, at uh, is, uh, Escape at, uh, Quest. Quest Escape. Quest, Quest, Quest yeah. yeah. Um, and they are just, just the immersive feeling being in there. I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous running around there. So um, if I can be immersed that much, I, I'm normally a, a haunt guy, scare is not normally that big of an issue. But I was, I was definitely pushing my wife behind me. So, <laughs> all right. Well, shout out to Quest for uh, Project Minotaur as well. Um, and now we just met, but I want to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. What is something that most people don't know about you outside of Paragon that you like to share? Um, I guess first off, I'm I'm a farmer. Uh, okay. So for for a while, um, do cotton, alfalfa, corn, wheat, things like that, and. Uh, so to come here and to start building Paragon, this is totally outside of the realm of things that yeah. I ever thought was possible and, and whatnot. And my brother, I needed a tech guy and he basically learned all the technology um, to be able to build uh, this escape room. So uh, it just comes down to, hey, if you have, have a dream or whatever, I watched the movie, um, The Greatest Showman. Mm. And I'm sitting there, right? And I, I went to go see it with my wife. And as I'm watching, I wasn't really excited about going, and of course by the end, I've got tears streaming down my face, and I'm like, I gotta do that. <laughs> you know, so that was that was me. So that's, it's just always been one of those passions and dreams that I, I wanted, and I went for it. So. Right. It's that 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 you see something, and then it's like, oh, you know, I want to do this, and then you do it, and it's like, oh wow. Even if you do, if you fail or you like you do it, and you tr at least you tried, right? Right. You exactly. experience. Yeah. And and even with Return of the Pharaohs. I mean, we've had to rewire this thing twice, right? It's just so that we have everything that works perfectly the way that we want it to. So, I mean, there's definitely a lot of trial and error that goes on along with it. But yeah, but yeah, exactly. That dream that you want, and you just you just got to go for it. Well, we're so glad that you went for that dream, as other owners that we spoke to as well, um, because we've heard great things about Paragon Escape Games, and we're excited to get in there to play Return of the Pharaohs. Thank you so much for having awesome. us, Adam. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Smash that like button below. And check out our website, escapethegames.com, so you'll know what we thought of Return of the Pharaohs. And you know what? I'm just going to try to sneak inside and uh, get some footage. Let me see what I can do. Hey, Adam, you go over there. I'm going to go this way.
lose. One hit left for me to move. Time is running out, gotta figure something out.